finished up a course about NGRX and this course is going to be 12 videos long and it goes into these five libraries these NGRX store the store dev tools effects entity and schematic so we'll be using those five libraries throughout the 12 videos and the project that we're going to be implementing NGRX into is this project right here so if you'd like to get your hands on this project you can find it on github and the link will be down in the description and I'll show you how to set that up on your machine pretty soon and what we're going to be doing with this project this is the finished version of the project and we'll be setting up a basic crud functionality using NGRX so here we have the NGRX store dev tools and we'll be setting that library up in our project and I'll show you where you could get the, the browser extension for this, this tool here. And as you can see here, we have our store set up. We're using Entity. We're getting a load of products when we load this page. This is our list component page. And uh, we get a list of products. Then also you'll be able to create products and that will update your store. Also, when you click on an individual product, you kick off actions for that. And here's our selected product in the store. So we have uh, another property in there and that is what we just selected. And then here you can edit. So if you make a change here and edit the product, you kick off actions for that. Then also you can update the state of your store. Make sure I click on the right action here. And as you can see here, we just changed the state of our store uh, with a new number in there. So we'll be setting up all that in the next 12 videos. Let's install this project and set it up. If you go to the link down in the description and clone or copy this right here, so just click the clipboard and let's open up the command line. So the folder of your choice, uh, you want to run git and then clone and paste what you have in your clipboard and then hit enter. And then if we check out our project we just pulled in, as you can notice here, it doesn't have any node modules folder and we're going to need that. So we'll need to run that npm install. And make sure you navigate inside of the folder first. So change directory, ngrx uh, products is the name of the folder. And then you want to run npm install. And this will take a few minutes. After you're running that command, you should have a node modules folder with all your installed packages. Now we're ready to run the application. So if you um, open up a new window and then navigate into the ngrx products, so cd products and then now that we're inside of the project then you can run npm run dev and where I'm getting that from I'll close this down open up the package.json and I added this in here and what this does is it runs our server as well so it's going to start up everything and that's what you want to run so let's go back to the command line again and we'll run npm run dev At this point, your application should be running. There should not be any errors here. And also, if you go back to the front here and refresh it, everything should be working just fine. Now, when you navigate down here, you'll notice only video seven. And this only goes out to video seven, this branch. And this is the master branch. And if we go back to this link right here, the GitHub repository, and as you can see, there's two branches to this. Now, if you're following along in Visual Studio Code, you could just navigate down here on the left click on master and then right here is the crud this is the second half of the course this starts off at video 8 and as you can see it's going to switch us over and then if we go back to the front and refresh this I think it automatically refreshes actually and this is all the way out to video 12 actually I didn't add those two on actually I actually I should do that but this is the second branch right here the crud branch and this starts at video 8 so let's say you're just joining and you want to start off at the beginning. I'll show you how to set that up. So uh, let's say you want to start at the beginning of video one. Here I have uh, video one begin. If we click on the commits and make sure you're at the master branch, not the uh, crud in this case, and click on commits. Then navigate all the way down to the beginning and I called it video one begin. So if you're just starting out, you want to start at this point. And then uh, just copy this uh, commit number and then just jump back into our project. I'll open another window and then make sure you navigate into the project. 
So now that we're in that folder, you want to run, run git checkout, then paste that commit number. And that should start you off at the beginning. If we go back in here, so you should not have any store in here or any reducer folder or anything like that. It should be all empty. And this is the starting point you want to start off at. And if we go back to the front end and refresh this again, and then it automatically refreshes, as you can see, everything disappears. We don't even have the, the dev tools anymore. So you're starting off from scratch at this point. Now in the next video, let's start off by setting up our store. And we'll start on that next.